It is no secret that I love Barbie and recently I've been redecorating my reseller space, my home office. My friend Christopher just sent me a little artwork to decorate the space when I get it complete and surprise, it's seven vintage Barbies. I'm about to unbox these and I will be seeing them for the first time with you guys. I don't exactly know what he sent. I know there are some designer and couture dolls in here. If you're as excited as I am, you know, we got to just get straight into it. Okay, I can't even exactly show you guys this whole box because, oh my gosh, look how enormous this thing is. Look how it's enormous. I think if I balled up really tightly, um, I could fit inside this box when we're finished. So the best thing to do, I'm gonna go ahead, I have a chair beside me, I'm gonna open it up and I'll just pick one doll at a time and showcase exactly what I got. I should preface this by saying that Christopher has access to multi-million dollar estates in Texas and it was undoubtedly some bougie collector that had these that never opened them. Oh my gosh. I love that we can't see what's in here. I'm, I'm truly going to be going through these blind with you guys. First up, here goes. All right, white box. Ooh, it's um, the classic collection. This is for collectors 14 and over. Don't be playing with this Barbie, okay? First in a series of limited edition dolls by Mattel Barbie Design. Benefit Ball Barbie. Timeless and elegant with custom quality in every detail. All right, for the love of Barbie, let's get her out of here. Benefit Ball Barbie. Here she is. Oh, okay. Look at this doll, you guys. Her hair is beautiful. It's auburn. Oh my gosh, she has like a sapphire style necklace. Let's take a first look around this doll. I love her hairstyle. Those bangs are so big. And the color of this outfit is so beautiful. Yes, she has, oh look. Oh, her dress is like a little wiggle dress. Just It just has this beautiful side piece. Why has she lived here her whole life? Let's break her out of here. Does she have rooted eyelashes? Wait a second, does she? <gasps> she has rooted eyelashes. Every dad's nightmare Christmas morning, <laughs> like having to get, so many Barbies out of the box. Was this everyone's childhood or or just mine? I think when I just broke her free, I actually heard her gasp, <gasps> I'm free! <laughs> like, her hair is gonna have to be fluffed a little bit, okay? She's been in that box for a long, long time. Like, longer than I've been out of high school. Look at these hands. Part of the reason why I open these dolls is because the joy for me is in holding them. I, I love to look at them, but to hold them is what reminds me of my childhood. To like crack Barbie's knees reminds me of being six years old, playing in my bedroom with my sisters, just like playing the same game of Barbies for absolute days, dividing up like who gets what pair of shoes and who's gonna drive what vehicle this time and Who's getting what kin? Here is her beautiful face up close and look at those rooted eyelashes, you guys. She's gorgeous. Girl, you got out of that box, high five. Speaking of who got what Ken doll, before we open up the next one, I have to show you guys my shaving fun Ken. This was my absolute most favorite Ken doll whenever I was a kid. This is not the exact one. My friend Chrissy, who's Collins on the Move on YouTube and Instagram, she found this for me and she knows how much I love shaving fun Ken. So if you dip the little razor in water, then you can shave his beard off. Fun fact, my husband now has a beard like this. So foreshadowing perhaps but shout out to Chrissy for sending me shaving fun Ken bye next up in this box looks really beautiful um just look at like the back and the side of this this says midnight princess Barbie designed with style and elegance especially for the Barbie doll collector it includes a certificate of authenticity and a doll stand I'm most excited that all of these are going to include their own doll stand because my girls don't always have somewhere to stand up <gasps> oh she's so pretty look at this Let's open her up, Midnight Princess Barbie. Here we go. <gasps> I didn't expect so much color. Look at even, I don't, like, I don't think it's a crown, it's like a hair piece. It's just complete, oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. Look at this crushed velvet and this collar. Can I have like this exact dress? I need this dress. Let's get you out of here, girl. I wholeheartedly believe that while Barbie looks beautiful in that box, 
This fashion is meant to be felt. It's meant to be like experienced. You're, they would have made it velvet if you weren't supposed to touch it. You know what I mean? Barbie is meant to be enjoyed and like just touching her hair. It just makes me, it makes me so happy. Okay, her shoes are gold. These are fantastic. Here she is, Midnight Princess Barbie. Next up, we have Enchanted Seasons Collection, Collector's Edition, Autumn Glory Barbie. Autumn is actually my favorite season. Uh, my birthday is the first day of fall. So this one is actually super special. Perfect season for me. Let's see what she looks like. Yeah, as an autumn lover, I cannot wait to see what she looks like. Blazing with color, leaves dance in the wind, laughing and whirling as autumn begins. Ooh, these colors. Let's get this off of her face and see what she looks like. Oh, you guys. <laughs> She's like, this hat is almost like Scarlett O'Hara. Like, <gasps> look at her. What is this? What are these leaves? That's like part of her dress. Another beautiful auburn hair doll. The iridescence on her bodice this gold oh she's gorgeous and see her dress doesn't even fit in the box clearly she's begging to be taken out here she is autumn glory barbie This one is silver on the side. What could it be? Christian Dior Barbie. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. Wow, limited edition Christian Dior Barbie. What could she possibly look like? Fabulous, no doubt, but let's find out. I actually just can't wait to see what this one looks like. And I love this style of Barbie writing. This is the style of Barbie writing from when I was a kid. I wonder if there's a year on this. Okay, yeah, 1995. So I was 10 years old when this doll came out. What? Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, they clearly did mean for her to be in the box, but I'm still taking her out. Look at her outfit. Well, we can't see all of your outfit, Barbie, because you're stuck in a box. Look, her earrings stuck. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, she needs to be freed. She has gold shoes too. Let's get her out of there. Hey, but did they mean her to be in there? Because she has this fabulous stand with her. So clearly they meant for you to take her out of the box. Like, look at this. This is one of the coolest Barbie stands I think I've ever seen. And her dress is slim enough you're gonna be able to see this. I feel like this girl could stay on my desk. While unboxing her, it actually became increasingly obvious that they didn't want her out. Like, her dress was sewn to the box in some places. Um, her head had, like, brads, like, plastic brads stuck in it. And look, I still am not entirely sure. I'm going to have to take her top off somehow to get these off. But how do you get her top off with these still in? So, for the sake of the video, we're just going to tuck those away for now. <laughs> but look at that detail on this outfit. A Christian Dior designed for Barbie. Is it so amazing? This is so fabulous. Her earrings are so pretty. And this is one of my favorite Barbie faces. This is just that classic 90s look Barbie. This is the Barbie I played it with when I was a little girl. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. She actually has a Christian Dior label sewn inside of her dress. Here she is, Christian Dior Barbie, 1995. This one has a baby blue side. Ooh, it's the couture Barbie. Look at this. Exquisite evening fashions that celebrate the essence of Barbie doll glamour. Reproduction of original fashion illustration included. Okay, there's gonna be artwork here. I just can't imagine what this one looks like and I can't wait to see. Oh, okay, I have to open it this way. Here goes. Oh, she's still covered. Wait, it's she was upside down. Oh, look at this artwork. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is getting framed. So this is what she's going to look like. Here we go. Are you ready? 
<gasps> oh, Barbie. Oh, look how beautiful these roses are. <gasps> we must free her immediately. Look how ready to like start her life she is. <gasps> Those earrings, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. Look at that shine. Girl, get out of that box. She wasn't even like tied down. Oh, I'm excited about this. She was the easiest one ever to open. <gasps> look how pretty her hair is. I love this color blonde. Oh man, the, I mean, they look like real Swarovski crystals or something. Look at that necklace. <gasps> Barbie has a tan, look at this gown. Holy cow, you guys. Holy cow, it's big. Oh wait, I, is it like a full circle? Barbie is having a full circle moment here. This is insane. Tell me she deserved to live her life in a box. Look at this gown. Guys, she's not even on a stand. The dress is standing her up right now. That's how insane this gown is. Here she is, the first of three Barbie couture. Her face may be my favorite so far. I just really love her makeup. Oh, I just saw on her box, she's actually the Barbie Couture Serenade in Satin. Girl, you are about to take up all kinds of space in this desk. It's okay. Like, don't be small for anybody, Barbie. Take up space. Ooh, the side of this box is brown. Interested to see what the, oh, it's another Couture one. <gasps> Oh, look at that. Look at the sheen and the shine there. Okay. Premiering exquisite evening fashions. Let's get her out of this box. All right, and this one is the Barbie Couture Portrait in Taffeta. Here goes. Here's the artwork, here's the design. I think that says Robert Burt. And here she is, you guys. Oh, wow. Look at all this gold lame. Only Barbie can get away with wearing that much gold lame. She has the coolest little curl here in her bangs and I absolutely love this incredibly dark smoky eye. We gotta get you out of here. Oh, she is a little bit more tied down. I think that last one, maybe they actually had removed her before cause she was way too easy to get out. like a like a magician's assistant here like they're gonna cut Barbie in half you're free oh here's her shoes understand I know I'm kind of a broken record with this right now but does this gown not deserve to be seen like from the back look how beautiful and full this is with a velvet stole that she's wearing here and one of my favorite details to this Barbie is that she has actual rhinestones on the bottom of her skirt here she does have gold shoes as well so her portrait in taffeta this beautiful gold lame look at those earrings she is gorgeous this is unlike any Barbie hairstyle that um, any of the dolls that I currently own so I really like her hairstyle she is not afraid to be different I'm just gonna there we go lift up your face Barbie like look up big and strong okay last one and this is a big box oh my gosh just the color the colors in this box and it totally matches it matches my outfit that I have on right now look at that I love this oh uh, I mean come on that's got to be the thumbnail right <laughs> Hi. Oh, there's a ribbon. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. Now I'm like sad that this is the last doll, but like, oh my gosh, look at the, all these gorgeous girls. Don't worry. We will do like a final walkthrough of them. <laughs> We're going to open up the one that matches my outfit now. Tour Barbie from 1997 on this one. So I know, and this one's called Symphony and Chiffon. Oh, this one opens different, you guys. This one opens this way. Oh, what's she gonna look like? There's ribbons. What a presentation here. <gasps> Ooh, her face is unlike any doll that I own. She has green eyes, gorgeous red hair, and super minimal makeup. The hot pink here, the orange, are we serious? Like, <gasps> oh wow, holy cow, look at all the layers. <gasps> she even has pink panties. <laughs> you know what we gotta do next. We gotta get her out of here. Oh, she's never been out of this box. <laughs> Poor girl. We'll fix that. Okay, these shoes are gold too, 
but there is a seriously serious detail here. Look at this. These are like Badgley Mishka or something. Absolutely fabulous. Oh my gosh, look, there's a B set in there too. Oh, these are good. Okay, she's called Symphony in Chiffon, and I was like, well, where's the Chiffon? And then when I picked her up, oh, you guys, it is the silkiest, softest thing. We gotta spread everything out here, and then she just got layers and layers. Get her shoes on. Let's take a look at her face first. Her hair is crispy, you guys. Like, these curls are hard as a rock, not going anywhere, which is great, because she has officially escaped the box. And look at this. There's actual rhinestones set inside these crystal balls at the end of beaded earrings. This doll's jewelry, like, I wanna own this in real life. Speaking of owning Barbie jewelry and stuff in real life, when I went to FAO Schwartz in um, New York City, they had like human size headbands by Barbie. And I was like, oh my gosh, how extra. Let me go see how much these headbands are. I should get myself one until I saw that they were like $250 for a headband, you guys. Like I don't, I didn't need something like that. I was not expecting this. This fluffed out absolutely huge, guys. This is probably like 14 inches across here. I feel like this could almost be a hood. I don't think it's meant to be a hood. Oh, let's turn her around and see what she looks like. Oh my, like these couture girls, I don't even know. They are absolutely in a league of their own. Fantastic. going to like share the spotlight here and showcase my existing Barbie doll collection but I was so obsessed with the details this is already a really long video and I just don't want to take anything away from these dolls so if you want to see the rest of my vintage doll collection many of those side-eye Barbies and an original Bob Mackey also sent to me by my friend Christopher then leave a comment and let me know hey we want to see the rest of the collection I know you guys are gonna ask in the comments, so I'll just say if I had to pick an absolute favorite from today, it's between this one and the Christian Dior. But I just think her makeup is so fantastic. She has got to be one of my favorite Barbies I think I've ever seen. Her head is 1991 Mattel, so it makes sense. Like I was six years old when this doll face came out. This is probably the doll face I stared at a lot when I was a kid. Like nostalgia runs deep. It's why I love Barbie, it's why I love Lego, and I just love everything that Barbie embodies and represents. Like when I was a little girl growing up, I would play with Barbie and I knew like Barbie could be anything I wanted her to be. Barbie could live wherever I wanted her to live. She had the relationships I wanted her to have. Um, Barbie was like a way for us to dream when we were little girls. So when I see Barbie today, it just it just reminds me of all those childhood dreams. And I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again, like I hope that 12 year old me, like 10 year old me, eight year old me would be proud of me today. So I love to, re I'm very childlike. I like to relive those parts of my childhood. I hope you guys have enjoyed reliving this. Thanks so much for watching today's video. God bless you guys.